What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope you're all having a great, great day. Uh, we're here getting ready to uh, probably watch some USFL tonight. You know, I think uh, our man Ben DiAnucci will be playing for Seattle on Thursday Night Football. I might even put a little bit of money on that game. I, I might put a little money through BUSR uh, Sportsbook because they don't have all the in-game gambling stuff like you can do with the NFL games, but you can bet the whole game. And I think I, I might put some money on Ben. Put $10 on him and see what he does with it. Anyway, be that as it may. We have some news on the Cowboys. Um, just getting back in and getting under the, you know, back here at my my sports desk. I, I miss this. I love this. This is literally like being in a cockpit. I've got all these different screens to look at and everything else. We have news on Tyron Smith. Um, and before I get to that, Tyron Smith, the athletic, they believe that he is done with the Cowboys. We've heard the articles about Zeke Elliott. Um, experts don't think they have anything in the tank. And, of course, Dalton Schultz may be, of course, going out and uh, – testing the free agent markets in the meantime i have to give a shout out to my man david david who fed something special for me here yeah i gotta get to this um i should have i need to keep a knife down here is what i need to do um to make it easier to open these things and let's see oh. all right we got a bag inside the box. We got a note. Hope this is better than that note that I got before. From Mr. Cowboy. Hey, Mark Holmes and family. Just wanted to say I love your channel and I have decided to send you an Eagles um championship t-shirt and having a, a hard time for, um finding them on nfl.com so i decided to make one for you instead oh yes i will be sending you one for your son uh on the west coast for sure hope you'll enjoy p.s go cowboys oh wow okay here we go <laughs> oh lordy 2023 super bowl <laughs> eagles champs <laughs> Should, should, I, should I hang it up here? Okay, I'll put it up here for now. There we go. The, oh, there we go. Yeah, I, what I should do, uh, David. Uh, actually, I got, I've got the perfect idea, David. Because, see, my wife has come up with a new shirt. Countdown to football. So, the months that we have. She's going to do red X's, so we'll be able to iron those on for each month and count them off. I think what I need is... I need to get a big red X and put a red X on top of it. That will be perfect. That will be perfect. Appreciate it, David. Thank you so much, man. You know, I, I love my fans. My fans are great. So, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. All right, let's get to the news on the Dallas Cowboys. So, here we have um, an article, uh, or at least a tweet about an article, just a few minutes ago, about Tyron Smith from John Machada of the Atlantic, um, basically saying that uh, offensive tackle uh, Tyron Smith may have played his last snap with the Cowboys, uh, considering that he is, uh, they could save $10 million in cap money. Um, by releasing him and has only played 17 out of f uh, 50 games over the past three seasons, which is not good. You know, and, and in the end, your best ability is your availability. He did play well going down the stretch for, you know, the six games or so that we had playing at right tackle position that he's never had, but truly the writing is on the wall. And, you know, I know we as Cowboy fans that we get two emotionally tied to players and we say we can't live without this guy this guy it, it will all justify reasons for guys to stay and you know in the end keep in mind the cowboys let go to marcus ware keep in mind the cowboys let go to marco murray after rushing for over 1800 yards keep in mind they let go of des bryant you know these are players that you know we as fans looked at and said 
we can't live without. Now, we didn't win Super Bowls without them, but in some regards, sometimes we hold into guys like Tyron Crawford and Tyron Crawford. Forgive me. I, I don't mean any disrespect because you have been, you were a great player for the Dallas Cowboys. You did the dirty work and everything else, you know, uh, for the team. But the thing about football is, football, you can't play forever. And there is a point where a guy has got trade value and a cheap contract where you can let them go and you can get something in return. And the problem for the Cowboys usually is when the Cowboys are done with you, you're pretty much done with football. And you've got no trade value. See, New England for years, one of the things that made them great was even if they won the Super Bowl, Bill Belichick's turning over you know, a third of the roster. He's letting go some good guys that he can get trade value for and get something in return as well as cap relief and having cap relief, he could go out and he could sign some veterans to fill in the, 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 uh, places. And that's the problem with the Cowboys. When we sign a guy to a big contract and then they aren't able to perform the contract the way it was signed, then you're screwed because you can't replace that guy because of the money you're spending on him. Or when you do decide to replace him, you leave dead money. And so on the flip side here, we're talking about saving $10 million dollars. But we're also talking about losing $7 million in cap space because of dead money. We got rid of Jalen Smith because they made a contract for a guy. They said, you're a cowboy and you're going to be a cowboy. Well, unfortunately, that money was bad. And we were still paying last year $6 million of dead money, along with you know $5 million for Lyle Collins, along with another $6 million for Amari Cooper. And see, if you'd had that money to be able to sign free agents, maybe we didn't have to get rid of Amari Cooper. Just saying. Um, other news that's interesting is that this is actually really kind of cool too, is A.J. Brown, who was a Tennessee Titan, wasn't in the NFC East, uh, which is now the NFC Beast, not having to understood the rivalry between the Eagles versus the Cowboys, as you can see, we've got our Super Bowl champs where I'm going to get Tracy to make me a red X to put on there. A.J. Brown was quoted as saying the Cowboys rivalry. When I first got there, I didn't give a damn about the Eagles versus Cowboys and still don't. But it's crazy, man. It's crazy. No, you Eagle fans, you guys are crazy. To these, it's crazy to these people. It uh, it be the Super Bowl. It be this. It be the Super Bowl. He's basically saying beating the Cowboys is a Super Bowl. Well, since you didn't win the Super Bowl, I guess. Oh, you lost to the Cowboys too, didn't you? Oh, womp, 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 womp. but you did. You did beat Cooper Rush. So what you're saying, AJ Brown is. You lost the Super Bowl twice. Is that is that what you're saying? I, I think that's what you're actually saying right now is that you lost the Super Bowl twice. Um, other news, of course, we have um, Dalton Schultz. It doesn't look like the Cowboys are interested in signing him to uh, using the, the franchise tag on him, and he will be going out as a free agent, um, which is not a surprise because the Cowboys, generally speaking, don't sign their free agents before the deadline. They don't. Remember last year with J. Ron Curse? Uh, J. Ron Curse, they literally pissed him off to the point where he ended up taking out all of his Dallas Cowboys social media and stuff and ended up basically saying, screw the Cowboys because they're not taking care of me. So it wouldn't be a surprise if the Cowboys went out and said to Dalton Schultz, go out there and see what you're worth. See what somebody's going to pay you. Come back. We'll talk. Does that sound familiar with Randy Gregory? And oh, by the way, we're going to put a little clause in there too, where we can take your money if you act up. So there's that. And of course, the media is going crazy about Zeke Elliott, that Zeke Elliott is done. Zeke Elliott doesn't have anything in the tank. He's running on fumes. That is a foregone conclusion that the Dallas Cowboys are going to cut him at that, you know, it's just not, it's not happening, which means to me, in my mind, 
that <clears throat> he'll probably still be here. He'll be here because it seems like they're usually wrong. The media usually is wrong. Remember the media that said, <clears throat> excuse me, the media that said that we were going to be like, oh, I don't know, maybe 500 or worse, not a playoff team. Yeah, those guys. You'll remember them saying that. And one final tad bit here before we get out of here was an article in the NFL.com. NFL.com was basically doing an article on the wide receiver in course, okay? About what the teams have, what they should look forward to, where do they sit? Now, for some reason, I know that there seems to be a disconnect between quarterback and wide receiver quality that it doesn't matter what the wide receiver quality is with the quarterback unless it's, I mean, if it's the Cowboys. Any other team, they'll tell you, you know, it's the quarterback. I mean, it's not the quarterback, it's the wide receiver room. Because, uh, you know, like Derek Carr, Derek Carr could be a first ballot Hall of Famer, but he had great wide receivers, great running game, and literally had about the same kind of season uh as Dak Prescott, he had one less interception and one more touchdown in three more games. But for some reason, his issues are something else. But let's go down the line here. Under the need immediate help, Atlanta Falcons, Baltimore Ravens, Chicago Bears, and the Dallas Cowboys. What? What? The Dallas Cowboys are under the immediate help at wide receiver. Top wide receivers under contract to the Cowboys. CeeDee Lamb, Michael Gallup, Jalen Tolbert, Kayvon Turpin. Top free agents or key free agents. Noah Brown, Brown, and T.Y. Hilton. Okay. Now let's listen to this for a second. The Amari Cooper trade looks even worse for the Dallas uh, in hindsight than it did last spring when the Cowboys sent four-time Pro Bowler to the Browns for a bag of flaming hot Cheetos. Uh, was it a full bag? I mean, fifth-round pick, I'm not sure it's a full bag. Similarity, counting on Gallup to back back from an ACL tear suffered late in 2021 season worked out predictably poorly. Those factors left Lamb to operate without a reliable running mate all season. Dallas needs to add more weapons for Dak Prescott to help open up the offense. Gallup being further away from injury should help improve his production, but it can't be the only thing the Cowboys rely on this time around. Uh, will they reignite Odell Beckham conversation that fizzled last year? So, They're kind of talking out of both sides of their mouth because you talk about Dak Prescott. He's got to improve. Dak Prescott's got to improve. But you also say he's actually handicapped because he has bad wide receivers. Okay, let's go down the list a little further. So the Giants are in the same category. They, they're in immediate help there. Tennessee Titans, of course, they did the Cowboys way by letting go, of course, um, A.J. Brown. And then you look at the Cardinals. Okay, or excuse me, the next group is add a piece or two. Uh, Cardinals are on that list. Buffalo Bills, Carolina Panthers, Cleveland Browns, Green Bay Packers, Texans, Indianapolis Colts, Kansas City Chiefs, Las Vegas Raiders, Los Angeles Chargers, Minnesota Vikings, New Orleans Saints, New York Jets, Pittsburgh Steelers, Seattle Seahawks. Teams that are deemed ones that have bigger fish to fry that you're good at wide receiver. Cincinnati Bengals, Denver Broncos, Detroit Lions, Jacksonville Jaguars, Los Angeles Rams, Miami Dolphins, Philadelphia Eagles, and that's it. So it's hard to quantify when you talk about, man, the Cowboys, if they only had a quarterback like Joe Burrow or, or Jalen Hurts, when they are set at wide receivers. 
and that the Cowboys are literally down there. Let, let's go with the list again. They're they're literally they, they're literally saying the Lions have a better wide receiver core. Okay, the Lions. Let's keep on going down through here because we are in the bottom tier of. I mean, we're there with the Giants. You know, as my man would say, what? Why do we draft a wide receiver? The Atlanta Falcons. Okay, we're there with Atlanta, Baltimore, the Bears, Cowboys, New England, and the Giants. That's the group that we have core for wide receivers, and we just look at it and say, oh, no, it's just a quarterback. Come on, people. Come on, people. Let's do this shit. Let's get this shit right now. Come on. All right? Anyway, that's what we got right now. I'm going to go through and uh, get some more work done, and I'll be back a little bit later. Oh, I forgot. I ordered this for myself. Ordered a couple of new things for the sports desk here. And if you go to eWin, if you want to get a desk like this and you want to save 20% on it, I tell you, this, I don't know how I live without this desk because I literally wake up in the morning and want to come down here. My wife was like, are you coming upstairs? It's like, no. I'm here with my desk, and we're working on getting our moniker on the front. But um, when you are a true blue Dallas Cowboy fan, you got to have your Dallas Cowboys. I know people don't use these things anymore, but it's actually a real notebook, okay? I got that, and I got my Cowboys mouse pad, too. Ooh, boy. Although, you don't need a mouse pad with this desk because it's actually, um, what do you call it? Oh, carbon fiber, carbon fiber. It's actually at top is actually really nice and smooth and slick and everything else. And you can use it, use the mouse right on it. But you know, I I just, it's, I got to have the look and I got to get some more money to Jerry Jones because you know, we're broke. All right. I'm going to get out of here. All I want to know is. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Appreciate you guys for all the love and for all you guys with all the hate. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll see you soon.